the La Soufrière volcano in St. Vincent, which has been erupting effusively over the last six months, experienced its first explosive eruption since Friday, April 13, 1979. For historical context, the volcano erupted on the second Friday of April in 1979, just four days shy of the current eruption, also happening on the second Friday of April in 2021. The UE Seismic Research Center concluded that the current and ongoing episode is much more powerful than the previous 1901 and 1979 eruptions combined, but bears more similarities to the 1901 event. On the last episode of the Bub Report, Grenada's opposition leader, the Honorable Tobias Clement, who is also a biochemist, articulated the risks and dangers of the ash fall on the local water supply, especially for those on the sister islands of Karakou and Petit Martinique who rely on water catchment tanks to augment their water needs in the dry season. Um, in all of the Grenadine Islands, Karakou and Petit Martinique, uh, we have this rainwater for drinking. And, um, you know, we had had to ask them to disconnect the spouting because the, the, the roofs were covered with ash. And you do not want, if it rains, then that ash goes into the into the cistern or into the, the catchment area because the water would be contaminated. It will not be any good. I, I would advocate even besides COVID-19 that people should continue to wear masks. I mean, the volcano erupted, you have the ash there, you might have been hearing that people are smelling sulfur. Yes, sulfur uh, is given off there, but um, it is known that sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide can be formed. And when these are dissolved in rainwater, you can form uh, sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid. So it, 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 the, as the rain that falls in the immediate time would be acidic. Clement is also cautioning that there may be risks to crops and other plant material due to sustained ash fall. But much more so, um, we have just seen the ash fall and we might be talking about the ash fall and it looked like sand or so. But I, I do foresee that a lot of vegetation will be uh, will be destroyed. We're talking about crops and animals would be affected in a serious way. Uh, immediately in St. Vincent, in Barbados, in the Grenadine Islands, um, you would see that some of the leaves and some of the vegetation, that, I mean, people, agricultural uh, crops would, probably some of it will be destroyed. Ash fall can have serious and detrimental effects on agricultural crops and livestock, depending on the variables of ash thickness the type and growing condition of a crop, the presence of soluble fluoride on the ash, timing and intensity of subsequent rainfall, condition of pasture and animals prior to ash fall, and availability of uncontaminated feed and water. Reporting from Washington, D.C., this is Kellen Bubb.